It's been a while since I last made a video talking about a remake or a live action remake of something. The last time I did, I talked about One Piece live action. If you want to know my thoughts about it, you can go ahead and check out the YouTube short that I made about it. Now we're in February and the live action series for Avatar The Last Airbender is on the way. And we recently got some information about it, about a couple of things that have gotten a lot of people very upset. And it revolves around Sokka and Aang's characters. And we're going to go ahead and talk about Sokka first, because I think that's the one that got a lot of people more upset than the other one. It's talking about discussing and tackling Sokka's sexism within the original series, where he didn't think that women were very capable, but then he eventually ends up realizing that women can be warriors, they are capable, and they can do a lot more than what he initially thought that they could. You'd think that that would be something that they would actually want to keep, because that is female empowerment, and modern society is all about that female empower empowerment, and it's bringing down a man for his stupid mindset. But then you realize that it could potentially be that they just completely misinterpret and didn't realize the whole re reason as to why Sokka was sexist to begin with, and it's because Sokka thinks that he's hot shit. He's the only man in this village in the Northern Water Tribe left there after all the men gather together and then they go out and they fight a war against the Fire Nation. And his dad is the one that leaves him with the responsibility of looking after the entire village. He thinks he's hot shit because his dad left him with the responsibility of doing that, but then he's less capable than even someone like his sister who's actually the seemingly only person in the entire Northern Water Tribe that's actually capable of doing waterbending. So he thinks he's hot shit and so he thinks that he needs to bring them down to his own level because he's insecure. He's insecure by his own capabilities as a man and as a warrior, so he has to bring others down. That just so involves women, and he's sexist towards them because he's just that insecure about himself and his own capabilities. That is until he meets the Kyoshi warriors, and then he's brought down a peg, and he's humbled, and he realizes that he shouldn't be doing that. His mindset against women was wrong, and that they ended up teaching him on how to end up being a better warrior, which leads him to being not only a better man, but a better leader, which is ultimately what he ends up becoming towards the last season. It could be that the writers are just misinterpreting this whole thing and this whole aspect of his character from the original series. It could be that this just was something that they missed entirely, or maybe they just have something better in mind with Sokka that just works better in live action. Who knows what they have in store, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It could be entirely possible that this was taken out of context and that it was meant to make the series look bad for whatever reason. We'll just have to wait and see on the 22nd of February to see what they end up doing with Sokka's character. But the one that really got to me the most was the changes that they're making towards Aang. And it's the fact that they're trying to make his his character and his journey through the entire series more serious. Meaning that he's going to be focusing more towards that goal of becoming the Avatar and learning the other elements of bending. All of that is definitely very important towards his character, but something about his character that I feel they might be missing is the fact that he doesn't want the responsibility. He fears the responsibility. And in the trailer, it seems like that they actually showed that off. Like maybe, I think that's what the scene is supposed to be. It's him talking with the elders in his air temple and they're telling him that he's the avatar and he has to learn and master all the elements and take down the fire lord and this and that and yada yada all the avatar responsibilities and he doesn't want that responsibility because he is still young he's still just a kid he wants to have fun with the people around him which are the people who are his friends the people that he cares about the most and because of the fear of responsibility of being the Avatar, that's what leads him to running away. That's what leads him to being frozen for over 100 years. Right when he wakes up, he knows what he has to do. He knows that he has to master the other elements. He still knows that he has to bear the responsibility of being the Avatar. But he spends most of his time, when it's not revolving around training, just helping people and having people be happy and living in peace. And that's ultimately what his goal is. He doesn't want people to live in constant fear like he had felt when he was given the responsibility of being the avatar that was thrust upon him without his consent it was just given to him even though he never asked for it even though that he knows that one day he has to fight the fire lord and stop him from using sozin's comet to take over and destroy the entire world or pretty much whatever his goal is whatever he's trying to do with the power of sozin's comet he knows that's the responsibility that he has to bear but he's going to do whatever it has to take to stay away from it as much as possible because he just doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to hurt others. He doesn't want to kill others. He wants to stay away from something that goes against his morals. Having him be solely focused on his responsibility and his goal, his like his end goal just 
is going to take away something from his character and could potentially end up making a very boring character as the series continues on because ultimately it's the last season where he finally accepts his responsibility, acknowledges what he has to do because there's only a certain amount of time for him to finally learn how to master bending the fire element and taking down the fire lord. That's why he spends the first two seasons just doing whatever the fuck that he wants because that's the thing that he wants to do. He just wants to go around the world, have fun, have adventures, and be with his friends because that's ultimately what, he, what matters most to him. But he knows that the world is in danger if the Fire Lord gets what he wants and that's ultimately when he finally accepts that he needs to bear the responsibility of being the Avatar and use his power for the greater good even if it means that he has to fight and attack and potentially kill the Fire Lord. Ultimately, we know that he doesn't, but still, the responsibility is thrust upon him and he fully accepts it towards the end of his journey. The rest of the time is building up to that moment, and that's what could potentially be missing. I hope it's not. I hope that like the live-action series knows what they're doing and they know what they have to do in order for it to actually be like true to the source material, but if they're going to take away something that was very integral to Aang's character, it's going to be definitely very stressful and very concerning, but ultimately I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what ends up happening, just like with Sokka. We'll have to wait and see on the 22nd to see what ends up happening with both of the characters and as well as the other characters, because I think we've only heard very little about them, but more information keeps getting released as we get closer to the release of the Avatar live-action series, and I hope it's good. You know, I, I hope that it is good. I don't want it to be bad. I don't want to be disappointed, but I... I'm just a little worried that they're going to eventually do something within the series, do something with the characters, and it's going to not be right. And it's not going to feel like I'm watching like the characters that I know just in live action. It's not going to be the series that I know. It's not going to be the characters that I know so well. It's going to be something entirely different, and I'm not going to like it. I hope that it's not. I hope that I end up enjoying it, but whatever happens, it's just going to end up happening. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about. I don't really have much else to say. Let me know what you think about all this information in the comments down below. If there's something else that has come out recently and you want to know my opinions on it in the comments, go ahead and leave a comment asking what I think about it. If just whatever it is, just let me know. But that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to say. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.